Ladies and gentlemen, Tactical Advance there, and welcome back to some more World of Tanks. Now, today, I'm doing a few rounds in the Stug. Really enjoyed this tank. One of the first tank destroyers that actually, I, I would definitely, actually, it was the first tank, tank destroyer I was, I'd enjoyed playing out of all of them. Um, and I still really like it now. It's just, it, it's a fantastic tank. Low profile. For a tank destroyer that's sitting in a bush, shooting from long range, it's just brilliant. Because, where do I start? Low profile for a start. You're in a bush, you know, the camo value is good. The gun is very, is pretty accurate. The fact that the gun actually can turn, you know, pretty much any direction. You know, you can cover off a very, very good angle. So you don't actually need to lose your camo cover. You know, there's just so much going for this tank. Speed, turning speed's good. Just a great tank. Not the best spot in the world, this, but... I'm gonna try, I've never tried sitting in this bush back here. See if, I know I'll get camo in there, but I don't know if I can... It's going to be within range. We'll soon find out. We'll give it a go. Just about shoot there, it's not bad. Let's wait and see where one pops up on the map, and then I'll uh, choose that direction. I'm definitely not the leading tank in this game, but we lost the tank already, which is the KV-1. I'm so sorry, uh, PZ. It does look like they seem to be going over that way. We'd have to move it. We're going to support this side, I think. I'm going to fly around here. Stuck there already, but it's good manned. Seeing there's a lot of them in the centre, so I might go up through the buildings over this way. I'm going to come back on my way here because I've actually got not a bad angle on this guy here. Enemy armor is hit. Pile them in. Reload rate's pretty good as well on this tank. Pumping them in, eight. Enemy armor is hit. They're our biggest threat at the moment, so I'm just going to keep piling them in. I'm guessing they're still there. I can't see a move on that. One more. Is he going to come down this way? Not sure if he can get up there, can he? Or maybe he can. Let's 
Ralph can deal with him. He's nearly dead. I've got to move, guys. The T-34 is going to be on my flank, so... around this side now and see if I can get this other KV-1. I know there's a T-34 up there somewhere. This guy here has been annoying, sitting there. Not much you can do about it, is there? Problem. Going for KV-1. Got to go for him. He's got low health. He's dead. Come around for this guy now. Ooh, tense game, guys. Got some big tanks left, though. I don't know where they are. I've got no last, no minimap, neither. So I should have really installed it, really. But hey, I'm just gonna risk it, guys. Sometimes you gotta risk it. A cap in, right on us, on us. I'm going to spot him from here first. Oh. Might better take two hits. Might. Not of a KB-1, but... Get out of it. I was trying to track him there. I was trying to hit his uh trying to track him but it didn't work to go to plan. Many reasons why I like this tank. It's well capable. This shows that even against you know bigger tanks like that that you know it can perform. Not to say I'm gonna win this, you know, it's a bit of roll the dice here, so hopefully I get lucky. Lucky I didn't take any damage. I bounced a shot there, guys. Pretty impressive. This last guy's killed something, so he's active. Are you serious? Oh my god. That groundhog down, remember this noise.
Yeah, I'm going to need it, mate. So it's done guys. What a great game. I went into 100% concentration mode there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, pleased with that. That came out... Uh... Woo! What a game. Well, to catch it live as well, guys, without a replay, that's probably one of the best uh, hit and records I've probably done quite some time, I think. Um, pleased with that. Went well. Massive amount of XP as well, which is always nice. What do I actually get there? I got Top Gun, High Caliber, Master Gunner, Sharpshooter, Mastery Badge, Ace Tanker as well. Great, really pleased with that. I mean, to, I mean to do that sort of damage as well, nearly two and a half thousand damage in that tier game. Really pleased. Um, yeah, fantastic tank, guys. What can I say? I mean, that just says it all, really. I mean, can, can I? Can I? I don't think I could do a better example of what what you're capable of doing in this tank. Um, and I still I just love the tank, guys. It's a brilliant tank. One of the things I'm really looking forward to, actually, I'm looking forward to the remodeling. You know, I don't know if you know about the graphics uh, they're going to be doing in World of Tanks, but you can see, look, this looks horrendous, guys. Look at it. It looks horrendous. Uh, the poly count's very low, but I know they're increasing the poly count, and it, all these bits and bobs, like the aerials, and all these things are going to move. The tracks are going to be totally redone. I mean, these models... I mean, these models look like something you get off of a, like, an Android game. You know what I mean? This is not like a... Uh, you know, for this sort of era anyway. But the good news is, is we're every single tank is now getting remodelled, and it's going up. I think twice the poly count is going. They're going to look much better. Um, so really looking forward to that. So great opener. Let's uh, roll the dice and see if I can do that again. <laughs> Hopefully I can. I actually do pretty well in this tank. With all fairness, I, I've got. I'm, I uh, I don't know. I know it did well in that game, but what I mean is, uh, my you know my percentage win ratio is pretty good in this anyway. So. Just, you know, I'm just fantastic tank, guys. I mean, I you know, started saying it, and I sort of followed through with it there, and, and this tank's just great. I know in the comments, guys, you're all going to agree. If you've got one of these tanks, you're going to know what I mean. The gun's just brilliant. Fire rate's good. Just a great tank. You can perform most roles as well. You know, if you want to be the tank the flanks, <laughs> the flanking tank, you can be that one. If you want to be the one that sits in the bush, you can do that one as well. Um, and that's what I sort of liked about the Fosh series. More... I, I well, it's fair to say that I still like the Foshes, you know, the ones I've got, all of them. Um, but for me, one of the sort of the advantages of the Fosh, uh, if we exclude the 155, I know the other ones haven't had such a speed cap, but it was the speed, guys, the speed and the traverse speed. The speed and the traverse fit speed is what actually made it for me. Um, where am I going here? I'm shutting away, I'm not even paying attention. That's what made it for me. It was the fact. It was the ability of being in a tank destroyer and having the capability to outmaneuver or defend yourself against a fast flanking tank. And when that was taken away, it did irritate me a little bit. But you know, you just get on with it. I'm still good in the tank. Hasn't really affected my gameplay that much. Uh, but it's something you know. I do miss it a little bit. But never mind. These guys are going that way. That's enough firepower that way. Artillery there, look. Let's not take the mick with a KBS, eh? The one shot killer. Uh, that'd do me. You gotta know when to walk away from things, guys. <laughs> one shot of that gun and then uh, back to the garage for me. Oh, we've got someone ramboing across the field here. Quick, quick, quick. He's got real mega arm on the front he has, but I'm going to lay him in anyway, guys. You can't see me from here, no way. We didn't penetrate their armor. Enemy is hit. Shame over that side a little bit, so I'm not hitting directly in the mantle. That one didn't go through. What about there? We didn't even scratch I'm concerned about that. We 
didn't even scratch them. Enemy is hit. What, I don't know why some people do that, guys. Why didn't the hell did he just sit there and watch? How are we doing? Not too well. Can I kill KBS? I can try. There's a lot of them there, guys. You need to be capping or doing something over there, guys. Tiger's there. Not really much I can do. If I get close here, I'm going to get slapped with one of them KBSs. I'm a goner. I might as well hold out, get him when they come around the corner. A couple of weak ones there. I'm seeing that PZ there. Look, he's on 91. I think that was just a bounce on the KVS. KV one's going around the flank in that way, so time to manoeuvre guys into a more defensive position. Probably not going to work, but look, I might get a couple of more shots in when I, I might be able to take out the KBS, hopefully. Maybe even defend the cap. I don't have very much doubt here, but I'll give it a go. Unless this KV1 drives straight in down here, I'll be buggered. Blank bus. Critical hit. I might go and charge the flank bus. Oh, I just didn't better get far in time. Oh, defended them as long as I could there, guys. Did the best I could. I think I did well. Pleased with that. I think I did uh, well there, considering how small I was. 1,000 damage is still really good in that game. With all fairness, AT shouldn't have capped there. They shouldn't have capped, guys. When you're losing like that, you're either going to have to kill them all, or it's game over, isn't it? Because you can't cap, because this is such a small map. For you to get to the other side of the map, you should right ram him. What is Tiger doing? Is he trying to kill himself? I suppose he's got this guy on the side, though. Still a good game for me there. Pleased about that. Took took out that KVS, so uh, that was the was the uh, he was the problem one for me. So great game. Enjoyed that as well. Another good game. These guys did well. With all fairness, having them t the Tigers, they did have sort of slightly better tanks. Not many people are liking these matchups. If you look what we had there compared to them. I mean, the, the, AT, the T25 AT is brilliant. Hellcat's probably one of the best tanks in the game. The KVS is one of the overpowered games. The tank in the game, isn't it? We all know that. The gun's going to be reduced. The 3001H is brilliant. The Tigers are really good. Blank Princess is just not that great. April's great. And now look what we had. We had a Tiger. Stug's okay. That's so not bad. M6 is all right. Not compared to these, though. This is why, Some of this matchmaking sometimes is just a bit of a... 
you know. But then saying that, I suppose there's an element of there of player skill that comes into it. So regardless, even if you are in the better tank, but I, I wish there was a way to opt out between these nation matchups, guys, because the, the I had some I've had some insane ones. I'm sure you have. I think I had one the other day where there was something like five waffle tractors uh, on their team, and you're just like, Jesus, man, that's just this stupid. Well, they should limit. I don't. I haven't got a problem with auto loaders, guys. <laughs> I can't. Can I? Just can't say that because I've got a few of them as well. Quite a few of them myself, but. They should just limit the amount of auto loaders per side. Then it's not as bad. But when you start putting four or five on one team, it's just it's just overpowered. It's just too much. One auto loader's fine. As long as you you know, don't forget the disadvantage of a of an auto loader is you've got that sixty second reload. And if you can if you can pump out, you know, a shot every nine seconds or twelve seconds, you know, you're gonna be doing five or six or five shots at him in the time that he's reloading. It's just if anything, it's down to the player understanding when he's fired his last shot to then go and attack him. And don't let him reload and then go around the corner. Um, I'll pop down here. KBS is going town. We've got some big tanks here. Looking about fair this time that we've got three KBSs. they got the April 44, which is a good tank as well. Um, not bad. Let's wait here a minute, see if one comes... Flying into the field. We've got the Aprils, the big tanks going town there. One tank dead, T-49's dead. Most of us are going to be a one-shot kill for these tanks here. You're going to have to be an opportunist in this game. Uh, this is not one for when uh, you're leading the way. Now I'm looking now, I'm looking over this way thinking, look, over that way, we're a bit vulnerable there, aren't we? If they move up that way, not that they know that. There we go, another tank dead. Great. Get a cheeky shot when he comes back, look. Move quick. As he comes around the corner with his gun facing towards me, then it's just very unlucky. Trying to get some long range shots, I think. Don't want to get too close to these guys. Oh, it looks like the game's over before you've even started, before you've even fired your gun. I mean, there's there's so, you know, in some most games, you, there's only so much you can do. you just got to take these games as they come, guys, because, uh, like I said, you can just make, just do the best you can in each game. See him on the flank, but I thought I'd try and do is uh, see if I can move back a little bit and take a bit of a sniping point. Use these trees to my advantage. Good game, it wasn't a good game at all, it was horrendously bad.
Oh, I did. I took, well, I took someone with me there. Took, at least I got to take out that stug. I think I did a shot on him earlier as well. Um, it's not a great three rounds, but look, you know, you, in that tank, when you've got the, when you're bottom tier, you know, you're not leading the way. There's a bit of a dependency over the rest of the team, but you, you, you know, you can turn it around. If there would have been maybe a couple of them left, I could have stood a chance, but not with the whole team. <laughs> you know, uh, that'd be a bit of a miracle, wouldn't it? Fantastic tank, guys. It's pretty cheap as well. It's sort of one you want in your garage. So I definitely, I think if you want to go up a line or, you know, you've gone past this one, come back and buy it, guys. It's a great tank. Really enjoy it. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.